friends, Kim from Stamping in Perfection. I am playing with some goodies from Three Room Studio. Today is the Saturday challenge and I want to create a card for the challenge and the theme is festive. So I'm going to use one of the new stencils. You can see all five of the new stencils here and I love these stencils. I'm going to use this. This is called Star Ray Full Stencil and I love it. It's like a starburst and I'm going to use the Believe in Fairies stamp set and I'm going to make a birthday card. I like this one. It's got a lot of little stamps you can use for filling in bits or adding little special touches. I think it's just really cute and that little fairy is going to be quick and easy to color in. So I decided that I wanted to create a rainbow with this this star ray stencil and um, so I'm going to actually secure my stencil to the back, or excuse me, my um, paper to the back of the stencil with some washi tape. And I'm just using this grid to line it up and I'm being a little fussy with it, but I get that on the back and I put that washi tape on the back of my paper because it's super sticky and I don't want to, if I rip the paper, I want it to be the back of the paper. So I'm using Mustard Seed Distress Oxide to color in four of those star rays. And then I'm using, um, I think it's Festive Berries because it's a festive card. Oh, nope, it's Candied Apple and um, Blueprint Sketch. And I'm doing four rays each. And I know this doesn't look like a rainbow yet, but I'm going to go ahead and take that blue and I'm going to go over the last ray I did in red. And then I'll take my red and do the last ray I did in just blue. And by mixing the two together, I'm going to get a nice purple. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the red and the yellow. I'm going to take the red and go over the last yellow ray. And the yellow will go over the last red ray so that I'll have two orange rays. And I just peek to make sure that I've got them blended. I just go back and forth between the two colors until I get, the, I get a nice blend. So now I'm using the yellow and the blue and doing the same thing to get two green rays. And that's going to give me a quick and easy ra starburst rainbow. And I, I love rainbow backgrounds. And this is actually, this actually is a nice clean and simple card. I went ahead and stamped the fairy and the happy birthday sentiment in um, my Color Hive Eclipse Black ink. This is my favorite ink for coloring with Copics because I don't have to wait at all or heat set it or anything to be able to just start right in coloring with Copics. So I'm practicing light skin tones. So I'm using E13, E11, and E40. And only because um, those are the colors I have sitting next to me. So I was, I, conf I confess I was too lazy to get up and get different colors. But I find light skin tones really hard to um, do so I've been practicing those more lately and the same with hair like I find hair to be a challenge so I'm just dotting on some R24 I think that was for the lips there's the lips are so tiny one of the things I feel the need to practice is tiny little strokes so I'm starting out with some reds I'm going to use R59 which is my darkest red and I'm just going to put that where I want there to be some shadow and where I think um, I'm putting the shadow where I want the curves of the this woman's body to be so the darkest color goes where I want the curves and then I'm going to use R35 and just go over what I just did and fill in more of the outline along the edges and you can see I just go over the darker and then fill in the rest of the outline. Now I'm using R24 and I'm going to try to fill in, I'm going over what I've already done and I'm filling in more of the dress now. I'm leaving lots of white space in the center for my lightest color which is R22 and I do that because um, I can always make it darker but I can't make it lighter. So the more white space I leave the better chance I have of actually getting enough light in there. And then I just went back through with um, from 
the lightest to the darkest with the R24, R35, and then I'll just add a touch more of that dark color where I want those curves, that R59. I like this combination of colors. So I like the red that I get from it. So for her hair, I like to use, I've been using lately um, for like a sort of a blonde color. I'm, I've been using YR27, YR24, YR23, and I believe I'm using E30 there. And I ended up not using the 23 on this because it was very, um, it's a very small space. This is short hair. So I started with the Y27 and just flicked in some darker bits. And I'm using Y24. And I'm leaving lots of white space where I'm filling in with the Y. Uh, these are YR27 and 24, by the way. And um, the YR30. So I have lots of white space. I like flick from the bottom and the top and leave space in the center where that light space. Oh, it's E30. Um, where that light color is going to go. And I hair, I'm a work in progress with hair. So for the wings, I'm going to use RV21 and I'm just going to color the wings in. I usually like to use a lighter color, but it doesn't show up very well in photos. So I've started using the RV21 just because it's a little bit darker and it shows up better in photos. And I'm going to add some, to make the wings look like they're sparkling, I'm going to add some white gel pen dots all over the wings. And then I'm going to take that R59 and a blue color, or actually a purple. I'm going to use a purple because I don't have a blue next to me. And put some really tiny little dots of that red. And now this is BV08 and I'm just putting some tiny dots of purple just on the bottom part of the wing towards her body and it helps to make the wings look like they sparkle. So I don't have the die cuts for this, there are coordinating die cuts. So I cut this with my brother Scan and Cut and um, I'm just folding over a card. The card base I'm using is four and a quarter by um, 11 and I scored and folded it at five and a half and I'm just cutting this panel down so that it is four by five and a quarter so I'm taking a, an eighth of an inch off each side and I'm going to use a yellow piece behind it which will be four and one eighth by five and three eighths so I'm just using like scraps and bits now and I tried other colors behind it, but I really liked the light yellow. I would have used a darker yellow if I had any more of my dark yellow paper left. Oh my goodness, I loved it so much. I went through the package so quickly. It was ridiculous. It was like an almost a, a yellow with a little bit of red. It was like an orangey yellow. It was so bright and beautiful. So I decided that I wanted the stars to sparkle, and I can't decide whether I liked this. So leave me a comment and let me know whether you like it or not. Like, I love doing this next step on things because I love to have a lot of sparkle and shine. So I'm going to take that stencil panel, I'm going to put the stencil back on, and I'm going to use my clear embossing ink. This is my Color Hive clear embossing ink from Maker Forte and I pulled out some mica powder. These are kaleidoscope powders from Maker Forte. This one's called Snow Flurries and I use this brush with, it's got a brush on each end. So I'm going to pull out a blender brush and just put in some of that clear ink and that clear ink will act like glue and um, it will give something for that uh, mica powder to stick to and I'm putting this all over all the stars and then I'm going to take that mica powder and I just need a little bit of mica powder I and I do like I do prefer to leave the stencil on when I do this usually but when I took it off it I had a lot of ink left so I just went over the stars and this works just fine and I'm just dabbing on and you know kind of rubbing in circles the mica powder and I was a little messy with the clear ink. Usually I use a foam pad and just kind of put the foam blender down and um, but I don't have any 
new ones left so I used the blender brush and it was a little bit messier than the um, foam pad and I used my sweeper brush to get rid of the excess and now I'm just kind of buffing this a little bit and it does tone down the rainbow but when you hold it up it really gives you can see the shine there that you get and of course I got a smudge of ink from my finger like my fingerprint was literally on the card so I'm using my Tombow mono sanded eraser to get rid of that little smudge of ink and I'm just taking a little bit more off one side and one and the bottom um, so a little bit of that yellow shows through and I'll just layer these all together I'm using my art glitter glue to add the layers and then I'll add these to my card base and I will put some foam on the back of both the sentiment and the fairy. That Believe in Fairies stamp set from Three Room Studios has so many sentiments in it. And I love that there's a happy birthday there. So I'm just centering it on the card base. And I'll, I'll put the foam on the back. And I'm using foam from scrapbook.com. And I really like their double-sided foam. It's not too thick. A lot of times it'll just be way too thick. So I'm going to put her in the middle. And I'm going to put that little sentiment, and I backed the sentiment um, with some navy blue. I had a scrap of navy blue that was a good size. And I'm deciding if I want to add some of those little stamps after all, and I really want to add the two little butterflies. And I'm going to add those in that blueprint sketch. So I just put the, little, the two little butterflies on the same clear block and just stamp those in blueprint sketch and I'm gonna add some blue crown jewel gems I think these are the Vegas strips one they're either Vegas strip or Scottish thistle they're pretty because they kind of have a purple tone in them so they're not just blue like when you tip them they look like they've got a little red or purple or pink in them and I'm just gonna add three because you know if you watch my videos you know I like to add three and um, I don't usually add more than three because I want to make that package of crown jewel gems last a long time, but I do want them on every card I make. So I'm just going to adhere those with the, crown, the art glitter glue and my two favorite tools from Maker Forte there. And isn't that pretty? It's so, it's a clean and simple festive card. And you can put Wink of Stella on the wings if you want to. I will link everything below. And I hope you like that. And we would love to have you join us at the challenge at the Three Room Studio blog. You'll find the Saturday challenge. And the theme this, this week is festive. And if you participate in one of the challenges during the month of September, you have a chance to win a $15 gift card from, um, by being randomly selected. So you can check out the details on my blog or on the Three Studios blog. Thank you for joining me, friends. Have a wonderful day.